The collapse at a Clearwater parking garage claimed the life of a 23-year-old construction worker. But tonight, Aid on Your Side has learned that some people had concerns about the building's safety long before Monday's deadly accident. Aid on Your Side's Jeff Patterson joining us now live in Clearwater with that story. Jeff. Good evening, Keith. Well, throughout the day, prep work has been going on to bring in this rather heavy, specialized piece of equipment that you see behind me to help with the recovery effort. They have just finished assembling that piece of equipment and are now doing some operational testing before they begin the work. I'm told it will take hours to complete the recovery. But now a former maintenance engineer for the parking garage says he first warned of, warned of safety trouble here years ago. Clearwater Fire Rescue says their recovery effort here will be slow, safe, and deliberate. Our goal here is to prevent any secondary collapses. The stairway is still very unstable, uh, which is why we cannot put crews inside. Throughout the day, crews cut away steel from the covered walkway to bring in a large excavator capable of dismantling the collapsed stairwell of the parking garage from the top down. As this work is underway, a former maintenance engineer of the parking garage tells Aid on Your Side he warned of problems here years ago. I noticed right away that we had a problem at that parking garage. I was picking up just chunks of concrete everywhere to clean up and just looking up at all the rusted brackets throughout and, and brought that immediately to the, to the management's attention. Michael Brookhart shared these photos with us that he says show cracks in the concrete and rusted rebar. He says he called Clearwater Code Enforcement after the collapse of the condo in Surfside to raise his safety concerns again. There's no way that that parking garage could have passed inspection. There is no way. That thing was a death trap. Eight on your side reached out to both the current and former owners of the parking structure regarding the code enforcement complaint and we just received a statement a few moments ago from the current owner that says we will thoroughly investigate the situation and events leading to this accident. For now, all we can say is that the former maintenance engineer that you referred to worked only for the prior owner for whom we purchased the building and never for us during the time we have been the owners. We did not receive any communication or expression of concern from him whatsoever uh, since our acquisition for this matter uh, during our pre-purchase investigations. The Clearwater Police Department is now investigating this as a possible criminal investigation. I will say that the uh, maintenance engineer that I spoke to, that we spoke to, says that he reported these issues before he left this job in 2016 and reported them again after the condo collapsed in Surfside. So he believes he did everything he could to warn of these impending problems. Live in Clearwater, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.